Jeff Olson, Dan Foss Drives Training Coordinator. I'm here today to do a video for you on how to set up the preventive maintenance features that are available in the Dan Foss FC Series Drives. Specifically today we're going to focus on how to set up these functions using MCT10 software and one of the available wizards. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. To get started here, I have my MCT10 software open and I have a live drive sitting here next to me. I'm going to go ahead and connect that drive. I'm going to see that it will appear over here on the network. The drive happens to be a FC102 HVAC, HVAC series drive. It's in the default configuration right now. I haven't made any parameter changes. I'm going to treat that out a little further here. And we'll see my menu structure. I have my quick menus, all parameters, which consists of all the main menu parameters here in the drive. And then underneath the, the all parameters group, I have my software wizards. So we're going to focus today on the preventive maintenance wizard. But before I do that, I'm going to use one of the other available wizards here, clock functions, to set the date and time on this drive. So I need to set up my real time clock. And I can use the date and time wizard here, and you'll see particularly this, this uh, box here will allow me to set the date and time from my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that, and my the real time clock now will be automatically set based on what time my uh, computer is indicating. So my clock has set. We can close that now, and we'll move on to the wizard. So right here, again, preventive maintenance wizard, I select that. It's going to open up over here. And now we'll see where, uh, where we're going to set that up. So this is the wizard. The, time, uh, the preventive maintenance scheduler consists of 20 events. Each event consists of an item, action, and then a time base. That time base can either be a specific date and time or a certain amount of hours. So let's go ahead and set up a couple examples here. I'm going to select my first item. We do have a fan application here we're simulating, so I'll try to choose some things that are appropriate. Um, you have some predefined items here that you can select from, and you also have the ability to create custom maintenance text if one of the predefined uh, doesn't work for you. So you can do that. For this example, I'm going to just move on and set up one of the predefined ones. So let's select fan belt, and I move on to the action. The action in this event we'll say will be to replace that. Now we move over to the time base. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the time base can be based on hours or a specific date and time. The difference between running and operating hours is a running hour is an hour that the drive is logged that it is in the run condition, and generally that would also mean that the motor is turning. Operating hours are just powered on time. So anytime the drive is powered on and in, in a normal uh, operating condition, the operating hours will be increased. So for our example here, we're going to go with running hours since that seems more applicable on uh, replacing a fan belt. And then I select my time interval over here, again, in hours. So I have chosen 1,000 hours for that maintenance event. And I'll apply that. Now that's written to the drive. I'll move on and go over here to my second item. And we'll set another one up. Uh, I'll choose another predefined item. We'll say motor bearings here. The action will be to inspect or check. My time base, let's go with running hours again. Uh, seems applicable for motor bearings, so we're going to choose running hours, and I have selected 2,000 hours here. We'll apply this one, and I'll go in and set up one more example. So for this item, assuming I can't find something that uh, in the menu that's predefined, uh, such as the drive heat sink. So let's create a custom maintenance text. So I'm going to select maintenance text 0. And we're going to go in the main menu parameter 2316 to define that text after I finish setting this up. So this is going to say drive heat sink. 
the action we'll say will be to clean it. We're going to set this one up on a specific date and time. Now I go over here, and this is where I'll set my date and time. So I choose a specific date and time. And I can apply that to the drive as well. So that has been set up. The schedule is loaded into the drive. I still need to create the custom maintenance text. So we'll do that in the main menu parameters. Group 23, time-based functions, and then 23-1. Here we have the group that I've already edited. And down here in 23-16, I have the maintenance. Maintenance text 0, dot 1 is maintenance text 1, and so on. So we selected in the scheduler maintenance text 0, so I'm going to create that text here, and MCP10 will allow me to directly enter this text. So I'm going to go ahead and say 5 heat sink. OK and select that. Now that will appear uh, when that event becomes active. The scheduler set. Um, go back and take a look at it. So, a thousand running hours later, we're going to see a, an action come up uh, that says to replace fan belt. So, I'll show you what that looks like. I have one of them that is active on my keypad simulator over here. This is what will appear. It's a preventive maintenance warning. It does not affect the operation of the drive, and it will remain active on the screen here until you manually go in and reset that. Um, you'll see here that I have my replacement of the fan belt maintenance uh, event active right now. And there's not enough uh, room here to include all the information, um, specifically replace fan belt. Uh, we can't see the word belt. So we can go into the main menu group here, 23. So if an event came up and you wanted to see more about it, you can go into these time-based actions here. And my first, sorry, I'm in the wrong group here. I need to go to my maintenance. Maintenance zero will be the replacement of the fan belt. So that's how that works. I want to show you how to reset one of the actions as well. Again, uh, this will not clear until I manually reset it. So you go into main menu group 23, 23-1. This can also be done on the keypad. And you select do reset. That reset has been executed now. And if I go back and take a look at my drive, you'll see that that uh, preventive maintenance warning has cleared. Um, in addition to the warning appearing on the screen, I can also go in and assign one of the available drive outputs to change states when one of the events becomes true. So I'm going to go ahead in here and just select one of my available relays. And I can choose the value preventive maintenance, as you see here. And when one of the events becomes active, a relay will also energize. So I can use that for, for some sort of external indication. So preventive maintenance wizard available to you. It's very user friendly. Um, if you need to set up a maintenance schedule, um, that's all for today's video. Hopefully that was informative and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Dan Foss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com.
Thanks again.